Hey guys and welcome to another video about Sarah Fox 910. As you can see we are here in Highland Resort as you guys have requested and I'll be doing the basics when it comes to defending, attacking and also giving some flanking positions and an overview positioning and also I'll be linking my nay spots in the description below. So let's jump right into it when it comes to Chinese. Alright then let's start on China here on Riverside. On Riverside you at least want to have two people from this area. Reason for that is there's usually one or two flanking them yourself, so you want to counter that with an equal number. More is not always necessary, but you know, try to keep that number equal. Now, one area you'd like to send someone is here on the far right side, either jumping down there to the right, or by the wall over here, because there will be an enemy here, but remember, play it very defensively, because people are loving these head glitch spots here, and it's, it's very hard to get them out. Even myself, I struggle a lot of these situations. Now, in another position here, it's basically running up straight here to this little entrance here or behind these boxes, seeing if you can get the enemy basically it's just going to be around the corner there because it's going to be a very close call to match on this game so always expect somebody around every corner. The second area you would like to cover is the building itself. Remember on Hainan Resort the building control is very important because it basically overviews all the bomb sites and you have a lot of cover to move from or to move behind cover as well. Now, one of the first areas you want to cover is here at the bottom floor with one person basically moving here because the bomb does spawn right there. Making sure you have the control here is basically essential and then covering all your friends from where you are as well. Position. Another location is here up these stairs. Basically keeping the top floor area for yourself, making sure because you expect people from that corner over there, the couch, or coming from there. Or sometimes if they did get the flank, they can come from this little secret entrance to your left here. Now, and also the last position here from the Chinese side is basically having someone on the flank. Either flanking all the way far to the left side there, or having them basically camp back on the bomb sites or up here, making sure you do not get flanked. You can use a person to flank or you can use them to hold back, but it's up to you and your playstyle as well. But I would suggest basically having someone just checking the flanks and making sure you can provide close covers for your teammates at all times. Now, for this overview map, as you see in the green, this is more of a defensive holdup. As you can see here on the right side, we have the guy on the far back side watching the front, and on the left side, you have the circle. And here, the one at the back on Charlie watching the circle and watching straight to make sure nobody pushes inside. And then, as you can see here, they have two basically one with a dot and just one plane. The plain one is on the um, second floor, watching straight across them, um, and then the one at the dot basically is on the far back in the lobby, watching at the bottom. And then you have the another one here on Bravo Bomb, watching front, and then the left side flank as well. And now for the red side, basically this is more a bit of the aggressive push. As you can see, they're all a bit pushed up. You're on the right side, basically pushing them up, giving him a wider area to cover, but basically also providing a bit of situation for him also to cover here. And then one here behind his bags are containers here in front of him, watching the circle and um, making sure before they even get close to the entrance. And then the one over here basically situated straight inside the secret entrance, watching the in front of him or in the bottom there. And then the one here in the back basically can move up and watching in front or at top as well. And here at the bottom you have the one flanking all the way around to the enemy behind. Okay. Now if you are pushing this side, basically making sure you stay as yeah, low as possible, watching for someone basically there, you can move a bit in the reposition but be careful for not being blinded by the entry sign. Or you can basically come up here, watch in a corner, usually tossing a nade right behind there because people expect to be there or there the cars itself. You can always expect someone there but once you have pushed up here, there will be someone in that area over there or up there basically because once their player went here went down it will be called and they will rotate to either response to it if the enemy team did hear about it. If you are pushing in from here on the left side, make sure you basically get to this box, get the first pick that's basically going to be in this area here or to this side here. Once you get the pick, make sure you move in here to the side, getting the enemies behind the box there or behind the counter there or if they're right there. Making sure you can have a better chance of claiming the bomb for yourself. Now when you're attacking here in the top side, you basically want to hold it here, basically. But you can see if an enemy's picking there, if someone does come out there, or another one there the couch, or if you need, you can basically just come out here and pop enemies here from there, or using this little glitch here. But be careful when you go outside because you are very open from the left side. And then pushing here at the bottom, 
We want to make sure you get to this um, containers here front, watching the left side, and then basically clearing out the area, moving up, popping it, and hoping sure your teammate from the right side there is here to support you, so you can basically have a better push up. Now I'm going to give you my recommended flanking route for if you're flanking far side towards alphas on a starting push. If you can see, I'm basically keeping on the left side here, basically behind this cover, but also running in the bushes, so I can basically be a bit hidden, but also see what's happening to my right side and my left side. Watching those buildings there, making sure nobody flanks from that left side of the building. And then moving here to the far back, checking each corner, and then coming here to behind them. Do be careful when you do break glass, because remember glass makes a big ass noise, and it will give your position away if the enemy team heard it. I'm making my push up here, and then clearing out any enemies. Now for the US, basically on the far left side, also known as Riverside. Also, the same on the other side, basically keeping one here on the left side, pushing it or holding it back. Watch using this little cover as possible. You can sneak past here using this tree or watch your flank up there. Then another position is one up here, pushing either straight up towards the car, watching the left side flank, or if you want, you can basically move up here, watching an enemy flanking him from there. Now, obviously, from the middle, there's another area with the cover, and it's basically moving up straight here. I would suggest coming to this little bushes here and just peeking it, using a bit of cover to, so I don't see you. Or moving behind the cover here with the bomb spawns, getting them before they even can get to the cover if they can. But, but do be careful for someone at the top or there at the left side of the secret room. And then a second area on the cover here on the top is basically over the second floor as well, using the secret room or here at the back. Making sure they don't push there, and there, and that you can also rotate to this area here. Getting a small pick if they're on that balcony there, or taking them out there, or getting a little pick there. Also providing cover from the bottom here. And then as the same as the other side, basically you can have a flanker that goes all the way around. I will have a little showdown for that. And also basically having someone or the same person camp here and watching the flank. Preferably here on the alpha by his boxes. Or if you want in the back there, a cocktail. It's basically keeping the flank and making sure nobody flanks your team while providing cover and an overview for if anybody does move around from the right side. Now here on the US side, as you can see this is also a bit of a more defensive push. One here basically straight on Bravo itself, watching straight inside the building and then the far right side flank. And then you have one here basically with the dot inside it yet again, which is on the bottom floor behind the bomb where the bomb usually spawns. And then one at the second floor, basically just behind the back of the lounge area, watching straight in front of him as well. And then one basically just next to the secret entrance, watching in front, and then the circle itself. And then the far back behind the wall, watching in front of him, and the left side flank. It's a bit of a more defensive push as you can see. Okay, and as you can see on this one, we have the aggressive push. Starting from the left side and on the river side, you have the one who's a bit moved up on the rocks, watching in front of him, and then above a wall. And one basically just close to the circle behind the containers there, watching to the door, on Charlie, or in the left side of across the circle. And one basically here, basically sit in the secret room, watching the cross him by the lounge or in front of him, and then the one on the bomb basically yet again. And then you have your flanker, you know, follows the flanking all the way around towards the enemy back lines. Now, when it comes to attacking this left side area, You'd want to move against these walls, basically a bit for better cover, but also be careful for your right side. So just like tapping your forward miss, keeping yourself against, uh, not against the wall, because when you go against the wall, you get a bit of a lean. So just keeping it like inside, just like tapping it forward, providing better cover for you. But also be careful for the enemies, because there will be a this area over here, or against the wall itself. Now, and if, also if you want to attack from this side inside here, I was just making sure to clear up the enemy behind the tank here, there or if they are there. Do not take the exit here because your team will have better um, the cover from the inside. Flank around, clean the windows, and then basically going upstairs first, getting the kill there or expect them behind a the cover if they did hear you. Now there's not really much to go for when you're attacking in here. Basically just remember to always use your cover and always call when you see an enemy team. But I was just inside here just holding it and see if we can get all the picks. But when it comes to upstairs here, when you want to attack, See at least if you can get one pick and taking a little gap, flanking, and then getting the kills as soon as possible. Remember to always move once you killed someone so, so they will not expect you. Now, when you're flanking on the ocean road, this is my suggested route for the US. Basically exactly the same as the previous one, but
But also, if you want, you can hold it a bit more back here. For now, I'm then just peeking over those little bushes. But also checking your right side. Constantly moving. And going through here. Remember, if there is somebody on the B-bomb, there is a nade spot from here. I will link my nade spots in the description below. You just remember to go check that out to help yourself. Flanking here. Check this area location. Getting out here, making sure there's no one there. Pushing up and getting the clear picks, if need be. Or basically, making sure if a team does go down, you have a spawn on the right side. And that is Heinen Resort, guys. I hope this video is very informative for you guys. Like I said, I will put a link in the description below for the nade spots on this map. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thank you guys so much.